This morning we're here to talk about um, the great work that our partners in emergency services, St John's Ambulance, have been doing to make sure that they're ready to assist the Western Australians who are suffering from COVID-19. As the Chief Executive Officer of St John Western Australia, I want to assure the community that we have been working very closely with the Department of Health and with the State Government to ensure the continuing delivery of the critical services that we deliver in uh, our communities every day. Personal protective um, equipment, or PPE, uh, the face mask that you see, is part of that protective equipment. And it is protective equipment that all health workers are utilising as uh, this global issue evolves. We have um, introduced, or we will be introducing today, to our frontline staff in the metropolitan area, personal issue protective equipment. It is part of uh, our ongoing planning for delivering services during this time. One of the priorities that we have in working with St John's Ambulance is to make sure that we protect our volunteer workforce that are working out in our rural and regional communities. Uh, St John's do have a great volunteer workforce that provide a vital f service for Western Australians and protecting them is obviously a priority as well. Say there's a worldwide shortage or uh, um, pressure on the on supply for P2 masks and, um, and and any protective equipment. So what this is just the extra layer that we've added on to try and make the stocks last as long as we can. So it, when it gets replenished, we don't you know we don't get to a situation where we don't have any left. But but the best advice I can give is follow the advice from the, the different health departments and stuff that's available online.